Thank you for tuning into the Gift Up podcast. Let's get to the Super Bowl 55 breakdown. And I'll first start by saying this is a tough game to pick. On one end, you have Tom Brady with all his weapons. And on the other side, you have Patrick Mahomes with his arsenal. I think it's fair to say, looking at the history, that betting against either quarterback is not a smart thing to do. But that's the task that we're faced with here. Looking at the matchup, both quarterbacks could be under a lot of pressure in this game. Spagnolo loves to send the blitz. And you also have Frank Clark and Chris Jones who can destroy an offensive line at any given time. I know the Tampa Bay offensive line has played really well, but this is the toughest defensive line they've faced in weeks. Washington and New Orleans have a pretty good defensive line, but Chris Jones and Frank Clark trump that for me. And as far as Green Bay goes, looking back on it, I should have remembered the Super Smith brothers are vastly overrated. This game against the Chiefs will be a little bit different. I don't think Brady is going to have three seconds every time he drops back. On the Chiefs side, I think Mahomes is going to be under pressure because of the injuries to the O-line. No Eric Fisher, no Mitchell Schwartz, and they have to go against JPP and Shaq Barrett. I think this helps Tampa because when each team leans on the run game, Tampa Bay will probably be more successful with Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette. Without a healthy offensive line and going against the best run defense in football will make the Chiefs one-dimensional, and Mahomes is going to have to straight up throw it from the pocket under pressure. Andy Reid can try to run those sweeps with Hardman and Hill, but Tampa has agile linebackers and Devin White and Levante David that can shut it down. That being said, the Chiefs offense is still very dangerous because Mahomes buying time and making plays is what the Chiefs are all about. Now, when looking at the receivers, I think both teams have mismatches here. The Chiefs secondary can handle speed at receiver, but physicality is where they have a hard time. Chris Godwin and Mike Evans offer that physicality along with Grok. Honey Badger does offer physicality, but he can't be in two places at once. And looking at the Bucks secondary, they have been taken advantage of all season. Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey are elite, and they will get consistent separation. The Bills have one of the better pass defenses in football, and these guys were running wide open all over them. Chiefs will also be getting back Sammy Watkins and Le'Veon Bell for the Super Bowl, and the Bucks will also be getting Antonio Brown back. So both teams' offensive weapons will be at full strength. Looking at the coaching matchup, both Bruce Arians and Andy Reid know what it's like to coach on the big stage. Chiefs won it all last year, and of course, Andy Reid made it to the Super Bowl before with Philadelphia, and Arians was the offensive coordinator for the Steelers both times they went to the Super Bowl with Big Ben. So neither coach will be overwhelmed, in my opinion. Arians and Reid are one and one against each other during Arians' time as a head coach in the NFL, so not much separation there. Arians is also one and one in matchups against Spagnolo through the years. However, Spagnolo's loss to Arians in 2011 came when the Rams were a woeful two and 14. Something else to look at that benefits Tampa is playing the Super Bowl at home. They know their home turf better than anyone, and they get to practice there in advance. Chiefs can't arrive in Tampa until two days before the Super Bowl. It's not a huge deciding factor for me, but still has to be taken into account. With everything on the table, it's time to make the pick official. I have to go Chiefs minus three and under 56 and a half. Both quarterbacks being under pressure will be a problem for both teams and is one reason why I picked the under. But Mahomes and his mobility to buy time in the pocket is a big reason why I'm going with the Chiefs. And like I said before, there is no doubt in my mind that Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey are going to be winning their matchups most of the time. Brady under pressure is a problem because he's not mobile and doesn't fare well on quick throws. We will see if Arians runs the ball a little bit more than usual, as we know he loves to pass. And I think eventually he's got to let his ego be put aside and just let Leonard Fournette pound the rock. He really, I, I don't know why he didn't do more of that this season. The final deciding factor for me is Andy Reid. I like Arians. And he's gotten his team far. But Andy Reid is the best play caller in the NFL, depending on where you rank Sean McVay. It's one and two for me. This is a big factor because it seems like the Chiefs offense can score at will. And it's very hard to predict what they're going to do as a defensive coordinator. My final score prediction is 28-24 Chiefs. I know everyone's thinking about the fairy tale ending for Brady. And you know what? Everyone might be right. It might be what the NFL wants, and that's what's destined to happen. The GOAT Tom Brady has the most weapons he's ever had in his career. I'm not sleeping on that. Tampa has a great offense. 
But for me, it feels like Andy Reid and the Chiefs are just toying with teams while Tampa has struggled in the games leading up to the Super Bowl. Even if you bring up the Browns game, Andy Reid could have honestly started Chad Henney in the first quarter and still won that football game. And with that, thank you for listening. Make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe. More videos coming this week.